It's Wednesday. You know what that means. We are officially three days away from AEW All in London. And right now we are in our go home show on AEW Dynamite. Tonight we are going to see two Ring of Honor legends face off against the men, the men in the main event of AEW All in London. As well as MJF and Ricky Starks having their final face to face. Jamie Hayter will be in action. The Golden Lovers make their return to in-ring action on AEW and much more. And it opens up Chris Jericho in action. And ladies and gentlemen, our opening match here on the Go Home Edition of Dynamite for AEW All in London out first. It's Christopher Daniels. A veteran of this business. One of the very best technical wizards of these last two of these last two decades, a former Ring of Honor World Champion, tonight has a big match against the number one contender for the AEW World Championship. And Chris Jericho. And our main event tonight, ladies and gentlemen, will of course be Dalton Castle. The former and inaugural Ring of Honor champion for us here in Dallas Southern Universe. He will be going one-on-one -on -one with AEW champion Jack J. White in the main event. But to open us up, his opponent this sa this Saturday at All in London, Jericho, goes one-on-one -on -one with Christopher Daniels. And as I've been saying, Daniels, one of those special talents that come around. His influence can be felt, even if you don't know it, all around this wrestling business. And you know that's why Jericho personally really wanted to face him tonight. And here he comes. The, the greatest of all time, Chris Jericho. And you know that by, by that look on Jericho's face. He is ready to go in this match here tonight. And of course Jericho enters this match tonight. Of course, only as I've said, only a few days away from his match at All in London. Of course, he would get that opportunity by winning the Memphis Mayhem match at AEW Beach Break a couple a couple months, well, last month rather. And it would be it's been a psychological warfare with AEW champion Jay White since then. But Jericho, you know that thoughts looming in his head. He's got a world title match in a few days. But he cannot afford to look past Christopher Daniels here tonight in our opening match on Dynamite. And they lock up. And wait, Jericho starts out. Big DDT to Christopher Daniels. And now Daniels taken down with Jericho coming in with a big shot on, on the down. On the down Daniels. Daniels getting slapped across the head. And now wait, Jericho comes off the comes off the ropes. And Daniels grabs him. Puts him in the ropes once again. Daniels. Throws him to the outside. Waymaze. Daniels going to go for a big move this early. Daniels looks to hurt him. Over the top plancha by Christopher Daniels. Daniels now. But Jericho catches him. Daniels trying to take control of this matchup. Thrown into the barricade by Chris Jericho. But cut off. By Chris Jericho here. And what's Jericho doing? Jericho. Trips him into the barricade on the outside. And they lock up once again. And now Jericho 
Throws Daniels back into the ring. And now wait, Jericho climbing up to the top. But Daniels is there. Daniels, oh, Jericho punches him away. Daniels gets hit with an axe handle from Jericho. And now Jericho coming off the ropes again on Daniels. Daniels runs him down with a clothesline. And now Daniels gets the arm of Jericho, stomping it out. Now, wait a minute. What's Christopher Daniels planned here? Christopher Daniels picks him up. Side slam. The side slam. To Chris Jericho from Christopher Daniels. And now Daniels throws him off the ropes again. Wait, Jericho holds on. Jericho grabbing the ropes. And Daniels picks him up. Big suplex there. And now Daniels into the cover on Jericho. One kick out from Jericho. And now wait, Daniels picking him up once again. Looking to give him for a suplex. No, Jericho fights out of that one. Jericho getting picked up once again. Daniels desperately trying to nail this suplex. No, once again, chop block on Daniels. And now Daniels don't turn around. Code breaker from Jericho. One, two, kick out from Christopher Daniels. And now Jericho going up to the top on the down. Daniels. Moon stomp of Christopher Daniels moved out of the way at the last possible second. And now Christopher Daniels grabs the leg, stomps it down. And Jericho leading up Daniels. He needs to take advantage. Another big clothesline there from Christopher Daniels. And you can tell Christopher Daniels is starting to feel it. Another clothesline takedown. Daniels. I think has him. Brings him down. Brings the legs. Daniels bridges it over. Daniels has some Jericho in this submission. Can Jericho fight out? And he does. Jericho with the big with the big elbow out of it. And wait, Jericho, wait a minute. Getting taught up. Wait a minute. Take it up. Fairy tale ending from Daniels. One. Two kick out from Jericho. And you can tell Daniels is trying to figure out what he's got to do here to set down to set down Chris Jericho. And Daniels, big punch there, the head of the, the side of Jericho. And you can tell Daniels is not done. Daniels, big elbow to the back of the head. And another stop to the arm as well. And Daniels just focusing in on the down Jericho, focusing on some limb torture. And now Christopher Daniels scoops him up there. Big slam on Jericho. And Daniels looking to hurt him again. Gets him up one more time. Another fairy tale ending. That's got to be it. But a rope break. For Jericho. And now Daniels. The frustration growing for Daniels. Stomping out the hand. And now Jericho. Throwing off the ropes. Daniels catches him. Tilt a world backbreaker. But oh Jericho with a big insecurity to catch. To catch the legend. And wait Jericho. Judas effect. One. Two, kick out from Daniels. Chris Jericho nailed the Judas effect. And then Chris, and Christopher Daniels kicked out of it. We have seen Chris Jericho one finished men with these with that move these last couple weeks. But Christopher Daniels proving he has the heart tonight to kick out of it. And wait a minute, now Jericho not letting that stand. Jericho going to go up to the top rope, but Daniels has it scouted. Daniels back into the ring. Jericho cuts it off. Jericho, another Judas effect. One, two, three. Chris Jericho wins this match on Dynamite. Jericho went up top. Daniels made it 
Daniels paid the price. Daniels went for that big strike in the corner. Jericho leaping over him. Jericho seeing that he had the separation needed. A big win here for Chris Jericho tonight. And making his way to the ring, ladies and gentlemen. The revolution is televised. It is Ricky Starks. Just a few days out from his challenge of MJF and AEW all in London. He's not coming down there with the usual pop and circumstance with that usual like hip with a usual skip and a step. He's coming down here and you can tell he has something to say. He has Ricky Starks. Our know, last number of weeks with this or last number of months really with this rivalry with MJF. It is weighed on starts. Tonight, he finally he gets one final address before heading into their ladder match at All In London. Now, I'm not going to waste your guys' time too much tonight. I mean, I could talk about the rivalry I have with Max. I could talk about the recent months with Max. I could talk about what he took from me. I could talk about how after so long of trying a double or nothing when I held that TNT championship after beating Keith Lee. Holding my family and them looking at me telling me congratulations you made it. But only have that ripped away. And some smug little prick. And how heartbreaking that is. And how demoralizing it is. And if you continuously have roadblocks thrown at you by people who you've helped. I'm not going to talk about that. No, no, Max. No, no. I'm just going to give you a chance to get your little, petty, smart mouth. It can barely wrestle part-time bitch ass out here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he called for him. He asked for him. And here he is. The salt of the earth. MJF is here. And you can see these two men both just with a different walk entirely tonight. With a different look entirely like these two men. A ladder match can change you. A ladder match can do something to you. As a human being. And they both know that. They both know. And you can see MJF looking at that TNT title. Knowing he's four days away from a war. With Ricky Starks for it. Well let me tell you something Ricky. Everything you just said about me is 100% true. I am part-time. I don't wrestle as much as others. I don't go into the back. I don't come out here every week and ask for matches. I certainly don't shake my damn opponent's hand when I'm done with them. I don't do any of that. And you know why, Ricky? Because I'm a star. Because I am important. Because I am the top man here in AEW. I may not hold a belt that says... That says world champion. But look at the count. Look at the numbers. Look at what's going on. I am the top dog here. You. Are. A good. Hand. At best. Listen. I know you think. We are in some rivalry. I know you think we are in to see. We are in for some race. Who's going to be the face. Of all elite wrestling, well, guess what, Ricky? Spoiler alert, it's always been me. Ricky, you have never, ever been able to deal with the fact that you are a disappointment in this business. You're already 33, Ricky. What have you done? I've been a world champion. 
I've main evented the biggest event we've had. I don't understand how you have ever thought we are any sort of comparison. Max, the funny thing is, I see your point exactly. You are a star, Max. You don't need to wrestle as much. And you're right. I am a bit older than a lot of people might think. I'm 33, guys. I mean, don't I look damn good? I mean, he's 26 and already looking a little... Ugh. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I am all those things. Me wonder what I also am? Persistent. And nothing in this world can replace persistence. Not talent. Not luck. Persistence. I will keep persisting. Max, you think if you beat me on Saturday, I'm just going to go away forever. That's going to be the end of the Ricky Stark story. And for you, that might be true if you lose. But for me, no. Ladies and gentlemen, if I lose this Saturday night, you know damn well you'll see me that Wednesday. Ladies and gentlemen, if I lose this Saturday night, you know damn well the next opportunity, I'm going to try my hardest to get it. Ladies and gentlemen, I lose this Saturday night, you know damn well it's not the end of Ricky Starks. Well, Ricky, that's nice. Continue to be the B-plus player you are always meant to be. You deserve this, Max. Oh, big hit from Maggie Stars and Mac Ricky Stars now letting off on Maxwell Jacob Friedman. Massive shot, no. Oh, dies by MJF. And now MJF goes under. Wait a minute, MJF kicks him in the gut. F U M. See it all in London, Ricky. And MJF leaves Ricky Starks laying before all in London. And coming up next on Dynamite, folks. Well, you better reach for the sky. It's the former AEW World Tag Team Champion, Scorpio Sky, is here. Of course, Scorpio Sky having his most prominent run last season here on LS11 Universe when he would combine with the current Ring of Honor World Champion Miro to form the tag team known as Twice in a Century. Scorpio Sky and Miro would go on a run through the tag team division that would ultimately end in their conquest for gold. But since losing the tag titles to the Lucha Brothers, Scorpio Sky has been, has been trying to find his footing in the singles division, of course, Miro going to Ring of Honor and winning that world title from Roderick Strong. But tonight, Swerve faces a man who in, who in just a few days will be competing for the Dynamite Diamond Ring. It's Swerve Strickland. Of course, Swerve Strickland. One of the very one of the very most talented competitors in all of AEW today. Some people say just a few weeks ago at Beach Break, he was a few minutes away from putting away Jay White and ending his world title reign. Of course, it would be cost to it by one. Rock hard, Juice Robinson. And Juice Robinson ever since then has been, quite frankly, one of the most annoying people on the entire roster. Everyone's kind of miserable with, with him around. But last week, Swerve making his return and being added to the match for the Dynamite Diamond Ring at All in London. And that will be Juice Robinson and Swerve Strickland, but Scorpio Sky can cut off that momentum tonight for Swerve. 
And here we go. And Swerving immediately tried tying up. Does not work. Oh, into a high cross. One. Two. Kick out from Swerve. And now you can see Scorpio Sky trying to hold him there. Oh, Scorpio Sky flipping out of that head scissor there. And now wait. Swerve Strickland coming up. Oh, big head scissor takedown once again. And now Swerve stomping away on Scorpio Sky. Scorpio Sky says no. Scorpio Sky kicks out the leg. And now Scorpio Sky coming in again. No, hit. Let's not hit that one there. And now Swerve Strickland stands on the hand of him. Oh, and, and knee in the arm. Now let's not forget what Swerve competes for in a couple days. The Dynamite Diamond Ring. There's going to be some serious changes to what the ring is used for, folks. You, you'll be able to use that ring to buy into a title match at your discretion. And now, oh, a big, a big drop kick to the knees. And now wait, Swerve Strick, Scorpio Sky up to the top. Swerve Strickland trying to cut him down. No, Scorpio Sky says no. Scorpio Sky trying to come off the top. Scorpio Sky with a falling DDT on Swerve Strickland. And now into the cover. One, two, kick out from Swerve Strickland. And now wait, Scorpio Sky coming off once again. Swerve Strickland grabs him. Swerve Strickland throws him off the ropes. Outside the ring goes Sky. And now Swerve. Wait, Aubrey Edwards holding Swerve back. Oh, wait. And now Scorpio Sky using that in order to get, in order to take a cheap shot on Swerve Strickland. And now Scorpio Sky. Oh, big, big drop kick to the side of Strickland's head. And now Strickland, oh, booted into the corner there. And Scorpio Sky firing off more shots. The way Swerve fights his way out there. Swerve. Spinning head scissor takedown. And now going for the chops. And uppercut as well. Swerve following up. Coming, trying to come through. No. Cut off there by, by Sky. And now Sky trying to take down Swerve. Swerve says no. Swerve runs in. Close line on Sky. And now Swerve. Not going to let Sky breathe out there. Since that's when Scorpio, Scorpio got that window of opportunity. Get that cheap shot off. Speaking of. Go Scorpio. Scorpio Sky throws Swerve Strickland into the barrier. Any environmental advantage you can get, use it. Throws him into the ring post. And you can tell Scorpio Sky is trying to put a real hurting on Swerve Strickland. Throws him into the barricade once again. And Swerve Strickland is just left trying to fight back here. No. Wait, what's Scorpio Sky doing? Scorpio Sky... Brings him down with a cutter on the outside. Into, oh my god. The dragon sleeper hold. The inverted dragon sleeper. But wait, Swerve. Pulls him out. And now Swerve Strickland. Punches away on Sky. Sky. The count's at seven. Take down there from Scorpio Sky. And Sky. Trying to run back into the ring. Sky. The count's at eight. Sky telling it hurt a count. Nine. And wait a minute. He knows now he's hurt. Scorpio Sky, he knows Swerve Strickland's hurt and he wants to take that brief moment. Sky, why didn't you take that? And now wait a minute. Ugh. Sky now with Swerve Strickland. Throws him back into the ring. And now, wait a minute, Scorpio Sky stomps on the hand, hit himself, now kicks it out himself. Now going for the stomp, no. Swerve avoids it, Swerve picks him up, slams him down with a massive falcon arrow. And now, wait, oh, Scorpio Sky fights out of it. Scorpio Sky and Swerve Strickland going tit for tat here. Wait a minute, takes him up, reach for the sky. One, two, kick out from Swerve. Swerve Strickland. King out of that massive move here. And now Scorpio Sky calling him up here. Wait a minute. But Swerve grabs the foot. Swerve takes him down to the earth. And now Swerve Strickland with Scorpio Sky. Massive forearm strike to the side of Sky's head. And now Sky 
Picked up once again. No. Scorpio Sky cut him off. Reverses it with a suplex on Swerve. And now Swerve is going to get hit. Massive axe handle across the back. And wait. Now Scorpio Sky pulls him in for an arm bar. The arm bar on Swerve Strickland. And wait. Oh, Sky lets it go. Sky just letting that go. He just wants to hurt Swerve. And wait now, Swerve on the outside. Sky wanting to do extra damage with a running splash. And now Swerve, you can tell he's really hurt. Swerve. Thrown back into the ring by Sky. And now, wait a minute, Sky going up top. And Sky. And now I think Sky wants to show off to all these fans here. He's getting ready to knock out Swerve. Wait, Swerve cuts him down to earth. And now Swerve grabs him. Swerve Strickland pulls him up for another Falcon Arrow. And now wait, Swerve Strickland pulls him in. Oh, C4 connects. And Swerve now starting to take it back here. Now Swerve with the arm again. Massive knee to the arm of Scorpio Sky. And now wait a minute, you see Swerve floating DDT. And Swerve once again goes between the legs, staring down Sky. And Sky, wait a minute, picked up on the shoulders. 4 F M L Driver 1 2 3 Swerve Strickland defeats Scorpio Scott Swerve Strickland with that big win here tonight and you can tell he's ready for all in London Miss Hater. We are officially a few days away from all in London. And the biggest match of your reign, your losing defense against my client, CEO of the baddies, Mercedes Monet. And Mercedes Monet, this Saturday, will take her place of greatness once again. On top of the LS11 universe when she beats you. But before that, we get to your match that's coming up next. Because we don't think it's very fair how easy you've had it. So we think you should have to face a challenge the same way Mercedes has had to face challenges. So right here, right now, you will face the native beast... Nyla Rose. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, that's coming up next. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is this match. Now, ladies and gentlemen, give you some context behind what's happening here tonight. These past couple weeks when Mercedes Monet has had a match, she's taunt to Ricky Steve was saying, Isn't that a little unfair? How is it that I have to I have to wrestle matches, but my opponent, Jamie Hayter, has not. Of course, Jamie Hayter has not been able to wrestle because of her physical condition. Trying to make it to all in London, but she didn't get that clearance here tonight to wrestle. And she said, you know what? Put me in there for a match. And Mercedes Monet was given her choice of the litter. And she chose the most possible the worst possible match for her. And it's Nyla Rose, the native beast. A woman who recently returned on Rampage. A woman with a chip on her shoulder. If ever there's been one. And tonight, Jamie Hayter has to beat her just a few days before she has to face Sasha Banks. If Jamie Hayter can pull off that hat trick, though, can pull off defeating these two in such quick succession... It will be, I think, one of the more impressive things ever done in the history of the women's division. 
to beat possibly the most powerful force in all the division and then face the most technically sound force in all the division in the matter of a, of a week will just go to show just how truly great Jamie Hayter already is. Jamie Hayter, I am already comfortable calling her one of, if not the best women's wrestler in the world right now. And this match here tonight, Nyla Rose wanting to get that win. Wanting to cause all the disruption. And here we go. And now we have in Nyla Rose and Jamie Hayter starting on the match. Oh, Jamie Hayter with a big shot on the big woman. I mean, oh, Nyla Rose immediately diverts. And wait a minute, what's Nyla Rose doing? Nyla Rose picks her up over the head. Suplex on Jamie Hayter. And now wait, Jamie Hayter this early in the match. Wait a minute, the native feast. Running power bomb on Jamie Hayter. One, two, kick out from Hayter. This early on in the match, that massive running power bomb on Jamie Hayter. The AEW Women's Champion. Now Jamie Hayter thrown into the turnbuckle. And now Nyla Rose was throwing herself at her. And now wait, Nyla Rose. Oh, run, standing Phoenix splash there. And Jamie Hayter trying to get out of the way of danger from the native beast. But I don't think it's going to run. Running body splash. And you can tell Hayter is even hurt again. Now Jamie Hayter. This is a wee hour title match. This is 40 days out from a title match in front of 80,000 people. And Nyla Rose putting this kind of hurting on her. Boots her across. And now Jamie Hayter. Is in even more trouble here? Wait a minute, another running. Oh! That connected. And you can tell, hey, oh my God, all that, all the air force out of Hater's lungs. And now, wait, Jamie Hater starting to put her, pull herself back to the ring. But wait, Nyla Rose gets her. Oh, now the sound of the drum. Going off for Jamie Hayter. And Hayter just falls. And now wait. The native feast following her out. She could have taken that count out. But she knows Hayter's in a very weak spot. And now Hayter again. Booted. By Nyla Rose. These running, these running splashes, there's taking somebody out. Jamie Hayter and Hayter finally fighting her way back. Throws Nyla Rose into the steps to finally get some separation from the big woman. And now, and now Jamie Hayter pulling herself back into the ring. Wait a minute, here comes Nyla Rose again. Running it with a massive clothesline again on Jamie Hayter. And now Jamie Hayter, wait a minute, Nyla Rose picks her up. Running power bomb. One, two, kick out again from Jamie Hayter. The women's world champion. And now, wait a minute, the native beast, Nyla Rose, gonna come off the top of the splash again. No! Jamie Hayter. Hayter avoids it. Hayter! Hayter right on the native beast. One kick out. What the hell? The native beast Nyla Rose showing what she's made of. And now wait a minute. Finally a neck breaker from Hater. Hater the Haterade. Something she uses to end people is maybe the first major shot she gets in this match on Nyla Rose. And now Jamie Hater kicking Nyla Rose while she's down. Trying to form some offense here. And now wait a minute. Oh my gosh, she's going to try to get her up. And she does Brain Buster. The Brain Buster connects on the native beast. And now, oh, a massive kick there. From Awakened Nyla Rose. And now Nyla Rose has her again. Wait a minute, picking her up. 
Power! Oh, a massive slam there! And another drop kick to the head. And now, wait a minute. Jamie Ader again pulling herself up. Oh, hits her across. And now, wait a minute. Nyla Rose with a running kick as well. And now, Nyla Rose, I think, going to go for that splash again. But Jamie Hayter getting up before Nyla can take the leap. Jamie Hayter. Oh, pulls her off of the apron there. And now Hayter. Oh, runs into the native beast. And now wait a minute. The native beast. Oh, thrown head first into that turnbuckle. Jamie Hayter just trying to do more damage. And now Jamie Hayter back up to the top rope. Uh, go for the leap. No, caught by Nyla. And now Nyla dragging her back to the center. Picks her up. Power bomb. One, two, kick out again from Jamie Hayter. The women's world champion. And now Jamie Hayter gives it with a standing play. And now, wait a minute, we're going to go for another name splash. The native beast. Just show which he's made of again. Wait, jaw jacked by Hayter. And Hayter again, neck breaker on Nyla Rose. And now Nyla Rose thrown into the turnbuckle by Jamie Hayter. Hater with these continuous stomps, this continuous offense. And wait a minute, I think she wants to bring the, the native beast down. Oh my god, Nyla Rose is up on top. Superplex from Hater to Rose. Jamie Hater knows she did major damage there and picks her up. Oh, massive. Massive backbreaker there. And now JB Hater. Hater aid. And Hater, you can tell she's exhausted, but she's not going to waste her one opportunity. Another Hater aid. One, two, three. JB Hater defeats the native beast just barely. Jamie Hayter showing everybody what a match between Jamie Hayter and Nyla Rose here tonight. Nyla Rose has nothing to be ashamed of. Nyla Rose nearly brought down the AEW Women's Champion in her second match back. And I think Mercedes Monet either way is happy without hurt. Jamie Hayter was in this matchup. Do you like that juice? I hope. Yeah, that's only a preview of what awaits you this Saturday. Cannot believe. Cannot believe you thought you were going to get away. We just taking away my, my ch chance to be AEW champion and then walk away thinking nothing's going to happen. No, no, no. You see, this Saturday, this Saturday, I will get my revenge on you, Juice. I will win that Dynamite Diamond Ring. I will become AEW champion, and you'll be left the same position you've always been, crying like the little bitch everyone knows you are. And you'll know whose house it really is. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, oh God, is that private party? we have some tag team action and a massive opportunity for a team making their season five debut outside of Rampage results. Mark Quinn. 
Isaiah Cassidy. They form private party. And private party looking ready to go here tonight. If ever I seen them. They have a massive, massive opportunity ahead of them tonight. For tonight, they face the return of a team who has a date with Destiny in four days at Wembley Stadium. Tonight, they face the returning and the reforming of the Golden Lovers. Of course, Private Party personally scouted by the Young Bucks to join all the way back in 2019. Hence, they're chosen. Hence, they're being chosen here tonight. And don't they ever look ready to go here? But here comes the team we've all been waiting to see. They came together last month when Kota Ibushi saved him from the Young Bucks. They faced them this Saturday at All In London. And tonight, they make their official return to the tag team division, the Golden Lovers. And there they are, Kota Ibushi, Kenny Omega. These two men would meet over 10 years ago on, their, on Kenny Omega's first ever tour of Japan for, for professional wrestling. He would wrestle Kota Ibushi in a promotion known as DDT. Quickly after they would notice they were kindred spirits in this, in this world. And they, would all, and they would come together to form. The Golden Lovers. Of course, Kota Ibushi after that would take off in his initial rise. And it was a meteoric rise since then. Kenny Omega would, would have a tumultuous relationship with Ibushi over the years. With Kenny Omega joining the Bullet Club. Joining the Elite. Reforming with, with Ibushi a few times. But tonight, they officially enter themselves into the AW Tag Team Division. With a match against Private Party. And here we go, Kenny Omega gonna start gonna start off with Mark Quinn. Here we go. And now wait, Omega opens it up with a with a massive bicycle knee strike on Mark Quinn. And Mark Quinn oh pushes away. And Isaiah Cassidy already tagging into the match. But wait a minute. Omega takes him down. Oh, big sling blade there. And Bushi in. And Ibushi now looking at her, Isaiah Cassidy. Wait, Isaiah Cassidy giving off some shots. But wait. Oh, Ibushi reverses it with a headbutt. And Ibushi picks him up. Next snap there. Ibushi. Wait a minute. Gets him up in the electric chair. Brings him down. JML Driver. And Ibushi now. Again with Isaiah Cassidy. Throws him into the corner once again. And Mark Quinn tagging back in. But Ibushi grabs him. And wait a minute. Ibushi throws him into Cassidy. Oh my god. Ibushi. Kamei's Quinn and Cassidy go together. And now, tag to Kenny Omega. And Kenny Omega, driven down the knee, comes off. Running knee strike once again from Kenny Omega. And Omega once again, throws Quinn in. And now, wait, throws him off the ropes. Drop toe. Into that elbow drop. And now wait a minute. Mark Quinn reaching out for that tag. 
But no, Ibushi cuts it off. And now Ibushi with Mark Quinn again. Boots him into the corner. But, oh, Mark Quinn grabs the leg of Mark Quinn. Finally being able to get off some shots on Ibushi. And now runs in. Massive kick to Ibushi. And now they're going to take him down. Oh, Ibushi cuts that off. And Ibushi looking at him says, all right. Oh, a massive punch there. The, the gun of Ibushi, though. And Ibushi grabs the head of Mark Quinn. Mark Quinn throwing off the ropes here at Ibushi. Coming off himself. Hits it on Quinn. And now Mark Quinn. Ibushi stands on the arm. Stomps it out. And now wait a minute. Quinn. Oh, thrown into the ropes once it thrown in once again. And Kenny Omega. And Ibushi once again. Throwing into Quinn. They're showing their tag team wrestling acumen. Oh, massive, massive hit there on Quinn. And Mark Quinn. Massive strike again. Wait, Mark Quinn. Oh, Ma oh, lands one. And Mark Quinn finally getting off some shots on it. On Omega, wait, Mark Quinn, DDT to Omega. And Mark Quinn finally gets a tag on Cassidy. And Cassidy now coming for coming for Omega, massive hit to Omega. And Cassidy now, wait, oh, Omega pushes him away. And now Omega has Cassidy, throws him in. And now wait, Cassidy being pulled up here. Here we go. One winged angel. One, two, three. The Golden Lovers with the win. That showing of tag team wrestling acumen from the Golden Lovers here tonight. They are four days away from their clash with the Bucks at All In London. And that smile on Kenny Omega's face can tell the entire story. We have more on Dynamite. And ladies and gentlemen, John Moxley arriving to the arena. John. Hello, Wardlow. What? Can't wait till Saturday for me to kick your ass. Really cute what you did a couple weeks ago. Putting my arm in position. Making me accept a match with you at all in London. Making it a Texas death match. What, you gonna try back out now? No. No. I'm just gonna show you what you signed up for. Oh, and Wardlow grabs John Moxley and wait a minute. Wardlow now taking John Moxley to his own car. Oh my god. Oh my god, Wardlow. Don't do this. No, no, no. Bow shucks the lid of Moxley's own car on him. And now Moxley waiting again. Oh, slams him again. And no, 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 not again. Oh my god, not again. Not the arm. Oh, hits him in the arm. And now Moxley getting taken around by Wardlow. And now wait a minute. Thrown into it once again. Wardlow humiliating John Moxley in the parking lot here. Now wait a minute, what's he doing? Oh my god, what's he doing? Oh, throws him into the hood of the car! And wait a minute. Oh my god. Not again. No, he's going to hurt Moxley so bad. Moxley's not even going to make it all in London. And now Wardlow has him up. Oh my god. Not on the hood. Not on the hood. Oh! Wardlow throwing John Moxley through the windshield of that car. Let's go. Let's go! Oh my god, where's Wardlow taking John Moxley? 
Where is Wardlow taking John Moxley now? Oh my God, Wardlow now carrying Moxley in from the parking lot. We saw him just throw him through that windshield and look who's waiting. Paul Heyman, the man who tried to give his services to John Moxley and now Heyman. Wardlow, show him what happens when you interfere with the future. And Wardlow throwing Mox, and the referee just trying to beg him to stop. Wardlow, is John Moxley going to be able to make it to the Texas death match like this? Power bomb. That's one. And now, wait a minute, taken up again. Another power bomb right there from Wardlow. And I don't think Wardlow plans on stopping anytime soon. Three. And you can see Heyman is laughing there. <laughs> again! Again! Full symphony! And again, wait a minute. Four! Marsley, he hasn't been able to defend himself since Wardlow sent through that car shield. And the referee is begging him to stop this. Five! And you can see Heyman's gonna continue this. And now wait a minute. Wardlow's gonna parade Moxley around. Six. And you can see Moxley, he's hurt. Moxley is hurt. If he's if he's gonna be able to make it tall in London this Saturday. And now, wait a minute, the, this side's going to get a view. Seven. And now Wardlow taking him up once again. Oh, eight. Nine. And ten. And now, wait a minute, Paul laughing. Hold on, hold on. Who's ready for the grand Finale! And now, wait a minute. Wardlow picks up, picks him up again. Send him over! Oh my god, look at that drop, look at that drop. No, not on the outside. Oh, he falls all the way to the outside. John... This is merely a preview. John just barely struggling to his feet once again. Power bomb. Let's go. Warlow and Moxley getting revenge for what happened a number of weeks ago. And now, ladies and gentlemen, coming up is the main event of Dynamite. Right before All In London, the AEW World Champion will be in power. Will be in action. But right now, we are getting some power. Some peacock power with Dalton Castle. Dalton Castle making a special All Elite Wrestling appearance here tonight. He has not joined the roster, but merely tonight he is coming from Ring of Honor for this main event here tonight. Merely because Jay White in these last few months has been tormented by people like Chris Jericho, by people like Adam Cole, when they have constant when they have brought up things about his past in Ring of Honor. This man was the leader of the locker room for Jay White's short time in Ring of Honor. I know what you're thinking. Could there be another guy that, you know, we could possibly consider the locker room leader? No, no, because that would be lethal. That would be insane. He is the locker room leader for Ring of Honor. I don't know what piece of shit you're referring to. What up next? Yeah. 
Here he comes, the AEW champion. Just four short days away from his title defense at all in London. Earlier tonight, we saw him. We saw the number one contender, Chris Jericho, in action at the top of our show when he took on Christopher Daniels in a in a really short but sweet instant classic of a match. And tonight, Jay White looks to fight, looks to get that last big burst of momentum going into All in London. Of course, is there any man in AEW who has stirred up more attention than the AEW World Champion Jay White? And with that belt around his waist, he looks more powerful, more ready to go. I think we've ever seen him before. But tonight, it will be a massive match for him. As I said, this man was the locker room leader for, for Jay White's excursion. In many ways, the locker room that formed the early Switchblade. And four nights away from, his, from the biggest match of his career, he's going to face that this figure of the past. And here we go. Bobby Edwards calling the ass in. Dalton Castle and Jay White, main event of Dynamite. And Dalton Castle going for the big kick. No, Jay White picked up. Dalton Castle over the head suplex from Dalton Castle. And now Dalton Castle tying up the arms of the AEW champion, snapping it down. Of course, we saw last week Jay White versus Action and Dreddy. A selection by Chris Jericho. And going under, going, oh, with that big back elbow there. From from Dalton Castle kicking him out as well. And now Castle drops the elbow across the chest of Jay White. And Jay White is in trouble. Massive clothesline as well. And now Jay White no rolls out of the way. Dalton Castle going for it. No. Big DDT by Castle and White. Castle bounces off the ropes. Going for the big splash. No. Cutting that off, and now wait, Jay White picks him up over the shoulder. Oh, over the shoulder suplex. One, two, kick out from Dalton Castle. And Castle going outside and immediately avoiding Jay's aerial range. That's, that's 20 years of experience, ladies and gentlemen. Aubrey Edwards telling Jay White to remain calm, and now Jay White coming back in with a massive chop. Starting to wear down here. On the former Ring of Honor champion, going for the super kick. Dalton Castle has that guy. Dalton Castle picks him up. Alabama slam. And now Dalton Castle goes under. Massive back elbow to the face of White. White's trying to recover. And now Dalton Castle coming back in. He's going to pick him up. Another suplex there from Dalton Castle. And Castle here. Could you imagine if he could pull out this kind of upset of being the AEW World Champion? Four days out, massive power slam from the biggest title defense he's had thus, thus far in his career. But Dalton Castle just cranking the neck of White. And Castle, you can tell he's staying so focused right now on the task of hanging on with the flash again. No, White had that scouted. Jay White getting some breathing room here away from Dalton Castle. And Jay White not gonna not gonna waste it. Running power bomb to, to Dalton Castle. And now what's Jay White doing? Wait, Jay White. Oh, tying it up with that knee bar. The switch play with the knee bar on Jay White, which and Jay Dalton Castle moves the leg, punches Jay White. And now Dalton Castle picks him up. Throws the tailbone in. Throws him across the ring. And then Castle. Going off on Jay White. Picks him up. Oh, massive gut wrench suplex there. And then going for the strike. No White. White dodges it. White, massive shot to the back. And Jay White not wasting any time. Going for that. Was going for that massive chop block. Oh, wait a minute. Chop block 
finally connects on Dalton Castle. Castle trying to get out of the ring to avoid Jay White. Jay White picks Castle up. Wait a minute. Oh my God, picks him up. Oh, massive driver on the outside. And now wait, Jay White. Jay White going to take advantage of this moment. Jay White covers and hooks the leg. One, two, no. Kick out from Dalton Castle. And now Jay White's gone up top. And now he's calling Castle. Oh, White. Castle steps out of the way of that flying crossbody. And Dalton Castle... Not wasting any part of this moment. Lifts him up. Oh, massive spin out there. Now into the cover. One, two, kick out from White. And Dalton Castle. You can tell he does not like this. Wait a minute. He was going to go for Bangarang. No. Fights out of that is Jay White. Jay White now uses the suit. Oh, leaves him out to dry. And now Jay White and Dalton Castle continuously going back and forth here. Over the head suplex from Castle. And White picks himself up. Oh, massive Lariat as well. Castle may beat the AEW champion. Could you imagine what that could mean? Oh, another stalling suplex there. Into the cover. One, two, kick out again from Jay White. And now wait a minute, picks him up once again, flings him out once more. And Dalton Castle, I think wants to finish it. Kick out again from White. Castle continuously coming close to ending this match with Jay White. That's how tough Jay White's become in the intervening years since leaving Ring of Honor. Jay White's become a completely different star. And now wait, Jay White now punching Castle while he's down and stomping out the gut. And now wait a minute, Jay White continuing this assault. Just you know, all this aggression. And now you can see Wait coming off the ropes. No, oh, running axe handled across the head. Jay White, oh, trying to hurt Dalton Castle. Castle cuts it off, picks him up over the head. Suplex there, kicks up. And you can tell Castle. Castle is starting to feel it. Clothesline, and another one. Castle bounces off the ropes. Oh, leaping, leaping clothesline there. And now into the cover once again. One. Kick out again from what Jay White. And wait a minute, picked up again. Suplex from Castle. And I think Castle wants to end it. Castle. Oh my God, if he could hit this. Banger and connects. Wait a minute. Oh my God. Castle drags him to the center. Castle drags him to the center. Here we go. One. Kick out from White. What the hell? But now, wait. Castle's going up top. Castle's going to end it. Castle's going to end this match with Jay White. Coming off with an axe handle. No, Jay White pick gets him. Backbreaker on Castle. And now, wait. Dalton Castle. Blade Runner. One. Two. Kick out from Dalton Castle. Jay White trying to introduce the trump card of one of the most deadly moves they've seen, the Blade Runner. And now we another Blade Runner connects again. One, two, three. Jay White wins this matchup. Jay White with that other massive win. Before double or nothing. Or before all in London.
And ladies and gentlemen, coming down to the ring is the number one contender. Jay. Not gonna lie, that was impressive. Not gonna lie, I've always found you impressive, Jay. I understand we have some things to say to each other, but I want to say that before this Saturday, I have always found you incredibly, incredibly impressive. But you're not me. Jay, I don't want you to feel too bad when you lose on Saturday because, as I've been saying for weeks, it's just a low for you. This will continue for you. You. You won't be the footnote of my story, Jay. You will be your own. But as for this Saturday, that's already written. And you can see Chris Jericho, all the confidence in the world. Jay White smiling back. Oh, Jay White. Oh, massive lariat there. Huh? Already decided. Already decided, huh? Uh, you arrogant little prick. Come here. Oh, another massive clothesline turning Chris Jericho inside out. And now Chris Jericho slammed down once again. And now Jay White, wait a minute. Blade Runner. And now, wait a minute, Jay White. Oh my God, what's Jay White looking for? Jay White's got a chair. And Chris Jericho slowly starting to pick himself up. Jay White with that chair. No, a chair shot. And now Jay White. Let me get off another chair shot. Another one connects. And Jay White just consistently pounding in the head of Jericho with that chair. And now looking for the other one. Oh, Jericho dodges it. Jericho, Judas Effect! Judas Effect out of nowhere from Chris Jericho. And if he's able to do something like that on Saturday, that's the specialty Chris Jericho has. He has a great equalizer move. He can hit at any time. He's about to show it again. Another Judas Effect. Four days, baby! Chris Jericho knocks out the AEW champion cold four days before All In London. I've been Ray. That was Universe.